Hi, this is Julio from the AgroEco Project. The purpose of this video today is to show you our perennial expansion of plants. So this is a kiwi berry, and kiwi berries produce not big kiwis that we're used to, but little tiny ones. This will climb up the trellis, produce little kiwis that are about uh, that big, and they're delicious. So this part of the farm is our raspberry patch. We have raspberries, gooseberries, uh, blackberries, all berries over here. And what we did, we did some intercropping in between the rows of, uh, of our berries. So if you see, you can see here, there's some raspberries intercropped with annual squashes. And right here we have our pawpaw trees. Pawpaws produce um, almost tropical fruit, a year about that big. Beautiful fruit, these will take a little bit to come to full maturity, but uh, it's fun we get a tropical fruit in this northern climate. We, between our rows of pawpaws, we've interplanted with uh, aronia berries. Aronia berries, also called cho choke cherries. Very astringent, but very, very, very nutritious. So this is a recent expansion of our farm. We just put in these new beds in here. And one of these beds is very special to me. This is our experimental perennial vegetable bed right here. The rest of the farm, we have berries and we have uh, apples, pears, and fruit uh, that come from perennial plants. Uh, what we're trying to do is develop perennial vegetables um, that we can work into our diet. So in this bed, we have our three perennial vegetables. This is the first year we've done these and clearly we planted them a little too close to each other, so they're kind of crowding themselves out. Um, mistakes are made and lessons are learned in farming. Right here, we have our sea kale. Puts out a little shoot, kind of like a mini broccoli. And back in the day, they used to put a bell on top and blanch it, and it kind of looked like a blanched asparagus. Uh, the leaves are tender too. You can treat them as a collard, collard green. And again, this is a hardy plant that comes back every single year without the need for us to till and uh, replant every year and weed and whatnot. All right, the next perennial vegetable we have in this row is Turkish rocket. The leaves are very peppery, very spicy, and this will also this will put out a little shoot that looks like exactly like a little broccoli rabe shoot. And the last perennial vegetable we have in this bed is Good King Henry. A lot of you know it as a weed. Good King Henry is a perennial plant that makes almost like a spinach leaf. Again, these are fantastic. Blanched to the lemon, olive oil, olive oil, buonissimi. We'll be expanding these throughout the years as, as, we, as we grow them successfully. This right here is our mushroom log patch. Now these are uh, oak logs inoculated with shiitake mushrooms. All the wood chips and sawdust are inoculated with wine cap mushroom spores. And in fact, um, a great way to include protein uh, via vegetable is through the growing of mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms and wine caps can do that for us. Again, we're trying to maximize space in the farm efficiently, and over here we have another system of uh, intercropping, annuals and perennials. So here we had leftover tomato plants from our flat trays, and we put them in, in just containers going down. Um, and then as you can see down here, we have uh, two rows of garlic chives going all the way down. These are perennial. These are great for making pesto, for chopping. And then right in between here are gooseberries. So here we're at the beginning of our market garden with all our different rows. We tend to put our herbs in, in these initial parts. Um, right here is a lovely perennial herb I'd like to talk to you about. It's called lovage. And lovage, you can see now it's at the end of the season. This is drying up uh, up here. But down here we have some tender shoots. Lovage is what they call in Italy, mountain celery. Um, it's basically a perennial celery. Now it's tough to eat off like this. Not only is it tough, but it has a very, very strong flavor. However, if you sub when you're cooking, if you substitute celery, which is an annual plant, with lovage, which is a perennial plant, it's a great way to work perennial vegetables into your diet.